import your Mies and you make them fall in love, get married, and have me babies, and you feed them donuts and and they give you presents and you you get money and and that's and weird things happen. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you hear that guy? That guy was Vinny. He put these series better than anyone else could, you know. He's the founder of the popular live streaming website and online community Vine Source. A place where an assortment of streamers play, play video games. Play video games. What is hey, what are you doing in here? Get the- get out of here! Get out! Right around. <sighs> All right. Okay. <sighs> Let's start over. That was Vinny. And he puts his series better than anyone else could. He's the founder of the popular live streaming website and online community Vine Sauce, a place where an assortment of streamers play video games live for the viewers, receiving donations and often running charity events using the medium. However, we're not here to talk about Vine Sauce's history or what it's about per se, but instead a peculiar little part of it that really had me thinking. I am indeed talking about Tomodachi Life. For those unaware, Tomodachi Life is a life simulator game from Nintendo, though simulator mightn't be the most accurate description. Players run a small island town where they create Mies to inhabit it, and they watch them live their lives. It's clever, it's charming, and it's a fun time if you're into that. Sure, it might all look like a wacky collection of silly clips from a silly game played by a silly man, and you're not wrong. However, what you see is also one of the most deceptively charming and endearing series you could find on the internet. And I don't say that lightly. It's something that only could have been done with Vine Sauce. To put it simply, the goings-on at Vineland Island in Vinny's series is very much akin to that of a TV sitcom. In less than a year, Vinny streamed nearly 58 hours of Tomodachi Life and 72 hours over the full series. That's nearly seven Lord of the Ring trilogies worth of video, 24 hours longer than the entirety of Breaking Bad. That's a healthy program worth of content to watch. But why do I keep likening it to a sitcom? Well, imagine, say, Friends or Seinfeld, but on a strange Japanese island, and instead of Chandler or Kramer, you have the likes of Princess Peach, David Bowie. David Bowie. Oh god, it looks just like him. And the talking walrus man, to name a few. Despite the strangeness, things remain relatively mellow, dealing with mostly entertaining, albeit trivial, issues between islanders. It revolves around the same characters that we're used to and our interactions with each other with more being added over the course of the series to spice things up. Sounds like a sitcom. But it also sounds like anyone could do a series like this with the game. So why am I singling out Vine Sauce Vinny? Well, he's just as wary as the viewer of that. But what Vinny has in his approach to the game is a sharp sense of humor. I'm gonna fucking myself to sleep tonight. I'm gonna cry tears of Geese are fucking retarded. Let me explain. <laughs> well, maybe not always, but nobody else could have made this series what it is without him. He holds the viewer's hand while he plays the game, because neither him nor the watcher know what they're in for. I have feelings for Walrus. Walrus? What? Vinny never says no to any requests in the game which opens up so many strange, amusing, and surprisingly touching scenarios. We see islanders who would have started without any characterization becoming beloved staples of the series with easily identifiable features and relationships. This is much thanks to the community around the series. With the end of each episode, Talented artists who watch Vine Sauce draw many of the islanders and scenarios from the series for Vinny to show at the end of each stream. It adds an extra layer of characterization and even likability to both the series and its characters. Many fans would show fondness for one islander and distaste for another and vice versa. When part 50 rolled along with the rule that one islander must be removed at the end of each episode, 
these tensions became even more exciting and comic. Eventually, this arc ended with one of the most satisfying moments in the series for many, and one of the most shameful for others, all dependent on which characters they valued most. Did I mention their story arcs? A lot of story arcs for a lot of different characters that span a lot of time. It's things like this that made many viewers feel very attached to the series if they've been invested in it. They end up rewarded with some surprisingly touching moments regarding characters they'd grown attached to. One could feel like they were addicted to a soap opera, rooting for their favorite gaggle of islanders to get their way. Now don't you worry about having to watch hours and hours worth of video when you only have a little time, because the series curator, Southbird, has a solution. He's Vinny's editor and one of the prime reasons why the Tomodachi series developed the cult following it has. Southbird painstakingly edited dozens and dozens of hours worth of video into 10 to 20 minute long highlight episodes that made the series highly accessible. He would often edit videos specifically to focus more time to certain characters, which in turn popularized them even more. He has compilations about characters, events, and even songs from the show. If you want the equivalent of a TV channel for this kind of thing, he's your man. I have barely even scratched the surface here. I haven't even touched on all the stories, lore, and theories created by the community for the show. Even Vinny claims he was initially bored with the game, but it was the viewers and their ideas that made him stick with it similar to the fashion his Animal Crossing series is handled. People still chat and speculate about Vineland Island to this day, and for good reason as you've seen. With Vinny, the storyteller, Southbird, the lore keeper, and the always creative Vine Sauce community, a surreal roller coaster of a show was unwittingly created, and it's only waiting for more people to tune in. It may be officially over, but Southbird and the fan base shine a light on it every now and again. Vinny seems willing to continue the story of some of the islanders in Tomodachi Life's sequel, Metopia. You also might encounter the occasional surprise stream of the game, like on April Fools. In the end, something so obscure yet entertaining like the escapades on Vineland Island are, they're hard to forget, and many are still discovering the series to this day. That's why I implore you to sit down and watch more things like this. Watch things that are a little strange, a little funny, and full of heart, like this series. Do it for Sponge. Thank you for watching. <laughs>